Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray. This video is going to be faceless, only because I didn't film enough footage to cover the educational aspect, but hey, we're gonna go with it. On your screen right now, you're seeing Kay Alvarez, the makeup artist. I'm not a regular artist. Gra, gra, Goku and I'm just getting started. If you're a loyal subscriber, you guys know who Kay is. <laughs> but if you're new here, First of all, welcome. Kay Alvarez is my right hand partner. She is my wife, but most importantly, the talented makeup artist responsible for about 90% of the people you see on this channel. So now that you know who Kay is, let's get you to subscribe to the channel. So in this super quick video, we're going to talk about the setup of this image, a quick how on the look Kay made, the inspiration behind it, and of course, the camera settings and the lighting settings. So Kay loves to compete her makeup looks with big name makeup brands. Usually there's a cash prize or makeup products that are sent to her if she's in the winning categories. So every year in October, right around Halloween time, she creates a few looks and enters to these competitions. The photo you see here is the Capricorn look that she created and entered into a competition. To give you a quick explanation of what she did, she used the bald cap to cover her hair and real goat horns to enhance the final look. The black roots you see on her skin were made by moldable clay. The roots you see surrounding the photo were created with AI. Most of the work she did during the season were based on zodiac signs. This sign was Capricorn, and it is known as the Earth Goat. And what better way to become a Capricorn than to have the roots of the Earth? Kay loves to become her art pieces and really speaks to art in a creative form. Once Kay was done with the look and I saw the goat horns, I wanted to do something outside, but it was already too late and we were forced to work inside. For these competition shoots, we usually try to be as creative as possible with the scenes. So we grabbed a few house plants and we have placed them near the backdrop to create the nature aesthetic, which obviously leads me to use a green backdrop. The only green backdrop I had at the moment was the chroma key green, which is disgustingly green. <laughs> but if you take a look at the photo, the background color is muted and is displayed much darker than it is in the BTS video. We wanted a darker, grungy feel for the entire photo shoot. I've said this so many times in the past videos, lighting is everything. I used one light for this photo shoot. I placed a Westcott FJ200 camera right. The modifier attached to this FJ200 is my 20 inch beauty dish. In my home studio, I have a few C stands and I use one of them to safely hold up the entire setup. I used one light because technically that's all I needed for this photo shoot, being that we wanted it to be more grungy than anything. It was placed to my right to simulate Rembrandt lighting. I wanted the lighting to fall onto K in a dramatic yet natural way. The FJ200 was a perfect choice for light since it isn't a powerful unit yet it packs a punch, just enough for this photo shoot. For most of my shoots, I have my typical go-to light modifiers. However, I like to experiment from time to time and for the educational aspect of my videos, I like to use different modifiers. The beauty dish also helps give me a much brighter, harder, and sculpted look into Kay's face, which helped with the concept that we had in mind. That was the sole reason for using a beauty dish. I used my Sony a7R5 and attached to this camera was my 70-200 G Master 2.8 lens. The shutter speed was 1 over 200 and the aperture was set to 2.8 with the ISO at 400. To help with creating a darker photo, the power on the Westcott FJ200 was set to a power of 2, which is equivalent to a 1 over 128 with a traditional flash. In post, I lowered the brightness and exposure, muted lots of the colors, including most of the greens, and played around with a few sliders until I was satisfied. I then transferred the files over to Photoshop, removed a few little things I didn't like, and added roots around the image using Gen Fill. 